What this does, you have one part of the hollow of your block hitting the frame here. The other part hits right here. There's a gap underneath here. So this picks up a rib band that's underneath. You clamp this down. Well, this is already contacting here, so that can't go anywhere. So as you tighten this up, this guy is going to roll in. Yes. And you got to roll, roll it in till it gets tight. And then put your hand in underneath, and you want to feel underneath that it, it is indeed flush on the inside. With the, other, with, the, with, the, with the adjacent plank. Yes. You don't want to have a step in there. Right. So we, and you don't have to reef it down real hard. You just want to have it right. rolled in so it's in contact. And we've done that all the way along. And then we can push sideways. Right, right. We want to do that roll first before we inch that plank up so that it is, again, adjacent to this plank uh, that's lying adjacent to it. And another right tool for the right job. It is. Very cool. Take a close look at this, and it's pretty self-explanatory on what it's going to do. And here in place, here we are, we're clamped to a frame inside. And as we ease this up with a pad, notice how rather than just using this surface right here, we're going to be able to create a much longer surface that we're going to slowly but surely, we're going to ease that plank up. Easy on the, all this. Greg was just alluding to, you don't want to bear down on this as we're rolling this plank in. We don't want to take any chances of introducing any checks or, or, or breaks right now. And wherever you go, wherever you see that, uh, you know, that, that plank edge is away from the uh, adjacent plank, drop one of these clamps in, ease it up, and work back aft. Work it, work it back aft. These, these clamps are purpose made so there's, there actually is an angle or bevel in them so that yeah. they can, it's in here installed like that so it is made to follow the curvature of the hull. So they're, they're very cool. It's a Conan clamp. And Greg, maybe for our viewers, you know, uh, where, do you, where can you find this? Well, uh, well, th these were originally made by Rick Conant and his grandson now is making these. Uh -huh. And we, we can provide addresses Great. for that later on. But they're, they're a wonderful, wonderful device. They sure right? are. They are. And if, if you know, see that we don't have any gap up in here. If, if we had left this square, that would have been a there would have been as much as we had on that bevel board, which is that. Yep. But why this is closed up, with, with the exception of the little bevel that we put in there for caulking, that is tight against the previous plank. Right. And another way to check on that is... Yes. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. We're going to introduce... The amazing X-ray device. Right. Well, why don't you pull that out so people can, can see it? Sure. If, Many if, people call this a reflector lamp. But we here call it a plank x-ray device. Yes. What that allows you to do, if you put this lamp behind your seam, the, if there's any gap in your planking, that will act like a pinhole camera and accentuate any kind of opening or gap, which you can't see here because there isn't any. And just go along the entire length of this plank seam and Look for any light that may be visible. And then and if, if you find that... Just crank it up a little. Yeah. And so that, that's the way, because either you have to climb, otherwise you need to climb inside, or you, know, or you have a small child that you've trained to do this. But <laughs> you, you, want, you want to make sure that things are tight on the inside, that there's no step and no gaps on the inside.